To create an invoice, open up the client's project and go to the Invoices tab, then click Add to create a blank invoice. Now there's two parts to creating an invoice, the Line item section and the Payment Plan section. The Line item section is where you'll add the services or products that you're wanting to charge the client. If you want to build a new line item from scratch, click New Line Item. Then fill in the item name, description, quantity, price, and any taxes or income categories as needed. Once you've filled in all the details for your line item, click Add Item. You'll see the total update in the lower right. You can also add as many line items as you would like to build out your invoice. Building package templates is also effective because instead of having to manually type out your line items for all of your services, you can click the drop down in the top right corner and add your packages automatically. This will make creating invoices so much faster than if you were to type out everything manually. We're trying to save time, not waste it. Next is the payment plan section. This is where you are taking the grand total of the line items and breaking this singular invoice down into installments. Just like building a line item from scratch, you can create a payment plan from scratch here at the bottom of the invoice. And similar to the advantage of creating package templates, having payment plans created ahead of time will speed up the process for you. Just click the drop down, add the payment plan, and boom, you're ready to go. Now, for those of you like me who have to make sure everything is looking A1 before you send something out to a client, to preview how this invoice looks, click Send, Open in New Window. This is the exact same view as what the client will see when they open the invoice. And as long as you have a payment processor connected, your client will see Pay Now buttons next to each installment and at the bottom of the invoice. The client will always have the option to either pay a specific installment or if they have deep pockets and they're feeling good, they can always pay the full remainder of the invoice at the bottom. Once a payment is made, the date and amount will be recorded on the invoice and the remaining balance will be updated. And if the client wants to, they can save it as a PDF or print it out for their records. Back in Dubzato, when you're ready to get paid, click Send via email. That will bring up the email composer with a button linking to the invoice. Feel free to make changes to the default email here or select from a custom canned email if you have one. Then, click Send. 